Hey guys, it's Andrea. I'm back with another Sew With Me for the Lori Holt Vintage um, Block Along. This is on her Be In My Bonnet blog, which I'm going to link down below in the description box. It'll have all the cut and instructions, everything you need to know. This is, well, she didn't put the week number on it, but it is called the Fall Flower. It's going to end up at six and a half inch block. So this is just a little guy. And as you can see, she's got some very fall colors going on. Looks like a sunflower. I personally don't really like sunflowers and I don't like yellow and brown. So I've changed mine into a spring flower. <laughs> I can do what I want. You do what you want. Let's get started. Hopefully I won't get too terribly confused since I've changed all the colors up. All right, first step is to sew an easy corner triangle to the top of each rectangle. Um, but make sure you read the whole blog first, guys. I mean, which she tells you, which I ignore most of the time. But, like, if you don't, you're going to run into stuff like this. Sew the easy corner triangles on, right? But two sections down, she'll tell you on opposite corners. So be sure and read ahead or you're going to be sorry. So we've got eight total. So I'll section them into the f two four piles. And here's the background. So one triangle, one triangle is going to be sewn this corner to this corner. So I'll do those four. I like making the little six and a half inch blocks. Uh, first of all, they're super cute, but they use such small pieces. It's a great stash buster when you have little, little pieces. I pulled almost all of this from my stash box. Okay, and the other four, we're going to be sewing from the opposite direction. So instead of this way, we're going this way. And yes, please excuse my missing fingernail. Looking like a ragamuffin. Alright, got those done. these back petals and this background and we're gonna make this unit so first thing we're gonna do is sew these two together
As always, I'm doing my quilt on the side as the broken dishes block. It's also linked down below. Get all these apart. And I'm going to press to the dock side. Now these, you're going to trim about a fourth of an inch away from your stitch line. And flip and iron. Flip and iron. I saw on Instagram, Buffy jealous i'm so jealous won a giveaway she won two, not one but two of those fancy irons now, what the heck are they called osla or oslo or something like that um, i've been wanting one of those for ages but they're soups expensive they're like the ones you can lay down like this and they'll and they'll stand up on their little legs and automate it down again. They're yellow usually. Girl, you are so lucky. Like she won the regular size and the mini. So everybody say congratulations to Buffy. I don't know who she won that from, but it was an excellent prize. Okay, we've got all these pieces and these, and then we're gonna sew them together like that. So these are little old petals. next so I've turned my fall flower into a spring flower I just don't dig certain color combos like yellow and brown, orange and brown. Anything that kind of looks 70s, um, I don't I don't dig it. Maybe it's because I am a 70s child and I remember those colors growing up and I didn't like them then and I don't like them now. Here, you know, we had the avocado green appliances. We had bright green shag carpet. We had yellow stuff, that macrame wall hangings, the owls. It's just like a 70s nightmare. Thinking back on my house in the 70s. Ugh. I hope that the mushrooms, you know, everything mushrooms. The worst, to, in my opinion, style in the history of histories is the 70s.
Which seems to me back before 2000, every um, decade had completely different looks and styles and feels, right? You think 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. There's specific styles that stand out. But once 2000 hit, it's like we've had no, nothing like that. To me, there's no 2000s, there's no 10s, there's no 20 styles. They're all the same. Maybe it's just because I'm old now and I don't pay attention to trends anymore. But, I don't know, I think. Am I crazy or do y'all agree? Alright, anyway, let's iron these. Like I could never, I could not look at an outfit and say, "Ooh, that is so 2000 or that is so 210." That it, no, they're all the same to me. <laughs> it looks exactly the same. Except for low-rise jeans, that's something that thankfully is not in style anymore that was in style and maybe that was the 90s too that was low rise jeans no I think that was the 2000s because I had some very low rise jeans back in the day oh we can start putting it together now we have this I got one still under the needle that goes down here. And I got this for my center. And these are gonna be snowballed on the last step. So. Also, in the 80s, we had one of those couches you see everywhere. We put a post about the 80s. We had the wood armrest, and the cushions were like brown pictures of wagon wheels and wagons and stuff. That was our couch. So ugly. <laughs> so ugly. <laughs> then my grandmother had that carpeting that looked marbled you know it had the marbling through it and my dad and stepmom they had carpets on the walls and decorative square mirrors on the walls like a checkered patterns carpeting mirror with gold foiling carpeting I'm like, oh my lord have mercy lord have mercy Don't even get me started on the 70s suits, men's suits. <laughs> Those big, huge, the jackets with the big, huge flaps on them, and the powder blue, and uh, the hair. Oh, gosh. Pieces on. Let's 
I remember early 80s, which reminds me when I'm reading that, when I read that, or watched that show Candy and all that, like that true story of that lady in the 80s, she had that tight curly perm. Um, my mom had that hair <laughs> in the 80s, but her hair is slick straight. How she ever got her hair to hold a perm, I don't know, but she had that short, tight, curly hair. This is our, I'm talking early 80s. Early 80s, not late 80s. Even house decorations were very distinct in each era. And yeah, nothing now. Now it's been the same to me for 20 years. Nothing's different. We just don't have the oomph I guess we used to have in terms of fads and styles. I was chagrined, though, to see mullets make a comeback that I never thought would be the day when mullets would be stylish again. I mean, what are we thinking? The popular hairstyle for boys in my school in the 80s was, first of all, rat tails mullets and mullets with perms at the bottom like at the nape of their neck they would perm perm it so it would be their mullet would be curly at the back <laughs> and of course you know our hair the girls hairs were huge the higher the higher the hair the closer to god kind of styles I guess there is a distinct hairstyle that's popular today with girls that I've noticed um, among Stella's friends is everybody, all the girls, have very long hair parted in the middle. Like, throw back to 1970. That's why I guess stylish now as far as, far as Stella's age group and, and here in Arkansas. Every single one of them except for Stella. Um have that hairdo. <laughs> She's the only one that just has, you know, a side part, medium length, normal hair. Which I have no control of my children's hair, unfortunately. They do what they want. And, uh, yeah. I let them do what they want. My mom let me do what I want. I'm sure she didn't think my mild high hair sprayed hair looked good either, but she let me do what it do what I wanted with it and I follow suit with my kids. Whatevs. Whatevs you want. They stopped letting me dress them and style them years ago, unfortunately. Believe me, if I had my way, it'd be totally different. I'm sure my mom felt the same when I was growing up as a teenager. We got some jagged little ledges here. Let me 
This guy needs some squaring up. Faux show. Let me get my six and a half inch square up. Now we're gonna put our little snowball corners on. I actually almost forgot about those till just now. Cause that's cute in and of itself, isn't it? I mean, I would be perfectly happy to stop right there. Uh, let's see how this looks. when I'm going to go through a lot of side pieces. I was just thinking, I'm pretty sure I told y'all about when I ran away when I was a kid, which um, it seems like everybody my age has got their ran away from home story when they were little. <laughs> like, I'm talking like third grade. I don't even remember what in the world I was upset about, but I packed up all my Barbies in my suitcase and uh, went to the neighbor's house. That was my running away. And I was, I don't know how long it's gone, an hour or so, just sitting at my neighbor's playing with my Barbies. And my big sister comes and knocks on the door and says, Mom said it's time to come home. And I was like, okay. And I went, I went home. And uh, Mom was um, in the kitchen. And she was like, here I am, slaving away making tacos, and you're running away. I'll never forget that. It's so funny. Uh, but I started thinking, oh, my kids never have never done that, knock on wood. They've never packed up their bags and said, I'm running away. You know, I went walking down the sidewalk or anything. I guess that's just maybe something that we did. There was one other time I remember I wanted to run away. It seemed like it was that same year. And I started packing my bags, but by the time I was halfway through packing my bags, I was calmed down and just unpacked my bags. <laughs> I wish I could remember what the heck I was upset about, but I've got no clue. Couldn't have been anything serious. <laughs> it was a very stable home, you know, I had a happy childhood, so I have no idea what I would have been so upset about that I had to pack Barbie and leave. <laughs> I 
I wonder if the, I wonder how they knew where I was. I bet the neighbors called my mom and told them that I was there. That's probably why Sabrina went and came and got me. Mom probably sent her down to go retrieve me from the neighbor's house. I'm sure they got a kick out of that, me showing up with the suitcase, tell them I ran away. Trimming these. And I'll iron them. And this one will be done. Oh my god, and of course I cut off every single point that I had. Of course. She didn't. So it's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> I'll pretend that it is, though. I'll pretend it is supposed to be like that. Because I took one heck of a chunk out of every one of them. That's such. That's so pretty, though, isn't it? Um, I'm I'm happy with it. I think it's very pretty. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you like to watch Sew With Me's. Which one did y'all like better? See you at the next one.